Hi, my name is Johannes Ulrich and we'll be talking about analyzing SSL traffic. SSL traffic is frequently ignored in intrusion detection and traffic analysis just because, well, it's encrypted. However, in particular, if you think about traffic analysis, when you're looking at traffic patterns and such, you can still get a lot out of SSL traffic. What we will be focusing on today are SSL hello messages, which are the messages sent by the SSL client as it sets up the SSL connection. So let's take a look at SSL connections and how they exactly work. Of course, we start out with a client and a server. The two of them, they establish a TCP connection. It's just a standard SYN, SYN, ACK, ACK handshake. Nothing we are really too concerned about. That's just like any other TCP connection. What we are really concerned about is the hello message that's being sent by the client to the server. It includes things, for example, like what version of SSL are we trying to establish here? Other items are the list of ciphers that are supported by the client. And then you have things like a timestamp and a random key material that's being added to that message and then used by the server to establish a key. Now the server responds to this hello message and in this response we do have the server certificate but also things like ciphers that are supported by the server and other details about the connection. That's really all we are worried about right now. Like I said, we'll focus on these hello messages being sent by the client to the server. There's more to SSL and well, uh, maybe in future videos we'll cover those parts. Now to continue, let's look at some SSL traffic in Wireshark. Wireshark of course comes uh, with T-Shark and is the well, GUI version of T-Shark. Let's start it up and I recorded some SL traffic here to get us started. Let's uh, look at uh, that traffic. What you see here is typical Wireshark. We do have uh, the traffic here in the top, so I've summarized the one pack per line. At the bottom here we do have the hex traffic, which we're not really interested in right now. What we are really interested in is the analysis of the traffic. And let me find a hello message here and open up the analysis pane and let's look at the secure socket layer. So Wireshark does a lot of the work for us here. It nicely takes apart this packet. We know it's a hello message. We know that TLS version 1 is going to be established here. We do have things like, for example, the session ID uh, being elaborated on here. We do have the cipher suites that are offered by the client. Now, in order to move forward, really all I want to get from Wireshark is the filter to use for T-Shark. Because one problem, at least I have always, with T-Shark is that the filter language is somewhat cryptic and hard to remember. In order to get the filter, what we do is we click on this client, hello, because we want to filter all hello messages. And here at the bottom, if you can see that, we actually now have the filter expression SL handshake type. What we also can do is right click on client hello and now apply as filter, select it. And now we got our filter up here. So this is the filter we are going to use in T Shark. Let me just copy this and then let's move to T Shark. Okay, so here we have the T Shark command line with a filter for SSL handshake type equals one. Let's just run this and see what happens. Now you see we get all these client hello messages. So one thing, for example, you see right away is, well, there are some SL version two messages in here. But in order to find more out about uh, this, what we can do is we can run T-Shark with the capital V switch. What is that going to do? Well, it's now going to elaborate on these hello messages. And now we do see, for example, all the cipher suites. Okay, so what's next? Well, let me clear the screen here. One thing, for example, we can do is we can just crap for Cypher Suite and then sort this, count it, and sort it again, numeric. 
Okay, and what you get now is a list of all the cipher suites that were in this file and how frequently did the client offer them. So uh, this kind of tells you, for example, if you want to disable certain cipher suites, whether or not the client even asks for them or whether or not we have other cipher suites available. And for example, uh, these four cipher suites down here were available in every single connection. Because, well, we had uh, 98 connections total, so we have these cipher suites available 98 times. As a result, you could assume that, well, um, this is a safe set of cipher suites to use. They are available, safe with the perspective of being available to the client. You don't want to eliminate any cipher suites from your server configuration, and then clients can no longer connect to it. So this would be a little test like this. Other things you can do is, and uh, let me just go back here to the uh, output of T Shark from earlier. For example, we have these random bytes. We can check are they actually random. We can look for the session ID. Is it random? Is this timestamp random? And you can plot all of this. And that's really where the power comes in because now we can run this through scripts. Let's say you do have a denial of service attack and you would like to figure out is this SSL traffic somehow different from other SSL traffic? Well, you just look at these different properties and try to figure out what's different here. As an example, let me switch to a packet capture of the push to bot that's hitting now a few sites including the www.sans.org site. Okay, so let's look at push to. I have a traffic sample here in this file called push to, and we again read it back with the verbose switch and the same filter we had earlier. So let's take a look what we get. We just interrupted here, and uh, let's scroll back and look at various fields here. Top, we just have our TCP header, nothing really too interesting here. We do have version 3, which, well, is also kind of normal. We do have a GMT Unix time of July 14th, 1970. That's kind of odd because, well, that should be the current time and 1970 is sort of awfully close to the beginning of the epoch. So uh, let's grab for that. Let's do a grab for GMT Unix time. And then do a sort again. That's our old sort. Unique dash C. We count. And another sort. Let's see what we get back. It's a little bit of a longer file, so it uh, takes a couple seconds here to run. But this is what we're getting back. What is it about? Well, uh, we do see we have a uh, sort of distribution of uh, times that are close to the time when the traffic was collected. This traffic was collected January 31st, 2010. But in the end, we have a large number, 5,600 packets with the same timestamp. So uh, this is now a good hint that this is a filter that we may want to use in order to filter out this push to traffic. And what we can do now is we can load it again in Wireshark, find this packet, and then establish a filter based on this timestamp and figure out, well, either in Wireshark what's the filter or what particular bytes do we have to look for, So, which would then be something we can plug into an IDS like Snort. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you at some of the SANS trainings event. For example, we have a great IPv6 course, one day up to a six day packet analysis, the intrusion detection in depth class. That's probably of interest to you if you liked this particular video. Thanks for watching it and see you again soon.